What's up YouTube? Uh, I'm just coming at you with another uh, quick and easy video. Something to do with firearms today. I'm going to do the uh, the coloring on the letterings of your guns. I'm going to show you the easiest, cheapest, and simplest way to do it. Um, today I'm going to be using my M&P 40 full size. See, no coloring done yet. Gun's a little oily. I'm going to wipe the gun off. It's my M&P 40 full size. To show you what a finished view is, that's this is my MP Shield 40. I did it in green, and this is the nail polish I used. Uh, you just get it from Walmart, it's like two bucks, really cheap. This is the one I'm going to be using today on the other gun, red, um, just something different. wipe the gun off real quick so the first thing you're going to do obviously is you're going to break the gun down after you get any excess oil off your firearm from the last time you cleaned it guns clear So what you're going to need, obviously, is you're going to need your paint. I can't stress this enough. You need non-acetone nail polish remover. Non-acetone. Do not put acetone on your firearm. It will ruin your gun. Non-acetone. And some cotton swabs. Just regular, cheap cotton swabs. So the first thing you're going to do is... Just adjust the camera here a little bit. Very, very simple. You're going to apply a heavy coat of the paint or the nail polish, and then you give it a couple minutes to dry. Like I said, you want to put a real good coat on there. Flip it over. It's easy to do two sides at once, obviously. Do that last side last. We'll let these two sit in the dry. So you're going to give that about five minutes to dry. I'm going to pause the video and give it about five minutes so you're not sitting here watching five minutes of drying. All right, guys, we're back. So I gave this about five to ten minutes to dry. Um, if you don't get it the first time, you know, don't don't get upset. You know, sometimes it takes a couple times of, uh, you know, applying the nail polish and wiping, you know, to get the perfect of where you want it, you know, how you want it to look. So you're going to need several swabs. You're going to need some dry ones, and you're going to need ones for the uh, non-acetone nail polish remover. So what you're going to do is, is you're going to put some non-acetone nail polish remover on some swabs. And all you're going to do is lightly wipe it off. Like I said, if you take too much, just real, you know, reapply the paint and uh, start over. It's not that difficult. You know, this entire thing costs maybe five bucks to do, so it's not that big a deal. This actually turned out pretty good for the first uh, coat here.
just lightly wiping over. You don't want to press down hard because you'll pull it back out of the lettering. So uh, that actually pr came out pretty good. Needs to be cleaned up a little bit as you can see there. Um, you know, I might need another coat. If you want to do another coat, that's up to you. Um, I'll probably do another coat. Um, so for the barrel, I took the barrel out. You know, like I said, I, I apply quite a bit on there. Give it about five to ten minutes to dry. Take some uh, cotton swabs here with your non-acetone, non-acetone nail polish remover on there. And like I said, you're just going to slowly wipe it off there. The barrel's a little bit more tricky because it's a deeper cut in the metal. So this one you definitely might have to do a couple couple coats to get it just right. Yeah, I'm going to have to do another coat on that one. A lot of it. I took most of the lettering out. This one's, like I said, the barrel's a little bit trickier. But if you do a couple coats, it comes out right. You know, this is a finished product. You know, I've had this gun for about four years now. You know, three years it's been like this. Painted. And I've only done it once. Shot well over, you know, a thousand. Probably pushing 2,000 rounds for this. This is my everyday carry. You know, the M&P 40 shield. I even... uh painted the sights because I'm cheap but uh I'm gonna pause the video again and uh I'm gonna do another coat so you see what a finished product with a red I'm not feeling the red as much as I thought I was going to but I want to show you what it looks like when it's done all right guys here's the finished product definitely like the green better red doesn't show up nearly as much um so show you there's the green definitely like the green better over the red and obviously this is a you know no lettering i'll probably do this white so very simple steps like i said put a light coat of the nail polish on give it about 10 minutes and then with a non-acetone Slightly wipe it off with some cotton swabs and uh, then take a dry cotton swab and dry it off. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, sorry the red didn't show up as good as I thought it was going to. Definitely uh, won't use red again or this, this, this paint red. Um, definitely use a different color. Thanks for watching guys.